Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching. My name is Mila, welcome to my channel. Like this video, activate the notification bell and so on. Guys, I don't feel like myself today. I literally look like a virgin that lives in a farm and that has never seen a D in her life. Uh, I don't know. I have a problem. It's because when I get bored at night, I try new stuff on myself. And uh, soon I had to dye my roots and I decided to do myself this front pieces. What do you think about it? I feel like I look so angelic, like it's ridiculous. I'm sure I'm gonna get comments like, did you finally find God? I knew this would happen. Whatever guys. Okay, so I am in a summer outfit, like kind of summer look, but I'm gonna talk about my, what I think is gonna be my favorite fall fragrances for 2020. I When I do these videos, I always do them like a little bit ahead uh, because I already have a good idea of what I am gonna present to you or what I'm gonna wear uh, this fall. Let's just get started, I guess. Baccarat Rouge from Maison Francis Cœur-Dijon. Cœur so, okay, this perfume it's quite pricey. By the way, everything will be linked in the description and so on. This perfume is hardly describable, but I can try. And to me, uh, like the most accurate uh, description that you can give to it is that it smells like sweet and sour candy's taste. You know this little... And it is a molecular fragrance that projects very, very big. Like you can smell it uh, when you enter a room. It's not that strong, but it's always there and for a long time. So long lasting, uh, very, very good um, sillage, but it's not a strong scent. And I think it is very, very good for fall as it is for winter, um, spring and summer, to be honest. But I think that I would imagine myself wearing this more in fall. It is worth to have this perfume just because it is unusual and I really, really like unusual perfumes. Then Olympia by Paco Rabanne, but this is the intense one. So it has less notes than the usual one. I think it just has salt, amber and vanilla, if I'm not mistaken. And it, it doesn't have all these florals that the normal Olympia has. So basically, amber is a very good note for fall. Amber is a stone, so it doesn't smell. So they created synthetically a kind of like warm scent that is amber. So it smells like warm um, salt, sweet. So yeah, like kind of like salted caramel, but vanilla caramel. And this is an all year round perfume, but I think that the intense version is especially amazing for fall. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna mention it in all my fall videos forever and ever and ever. This is L'Ombre des Merveilles from Hermès. This just smells amazing. It smells of amber, but it's a scent that's really, uh, how to say, that morphs into you. Like it smells like, you smell like that naturally. It smells like you didn't put any perfume on, but, the, and it stays very long and it's very kind of like come and go. It's a very sexual scent in my opinion. Absolutely love it, cannot get enough. I'm gonna rebuy it, rebuy it, rebuy it, rebuy it forever and ever and ever and ever. And again, this one has amber again. I think that amber again is great for fall. Banana Republic, dark cherry and amber. So this is a new thing that I discovered and I really like it. it smells like cherry amber, but it has also Francis Curie Jean Baccarat Rouge 540 um, vibe. It's not a dupe, not at all. It's darker actually than the Francis Curie Jean. But uh, it has also some praline notes, like some nutty notes, chocolatey notes. And I think that overall, this is a great fragrance. And for the price, the lasting power, it's like very, very, very worth it. Then I have Versace Cristal Noir. This is the Eau de Parfum one. Uh, when you ask me, do I prefer the Eau de Parfum or the Eau de Toilette? To me, honestly, it is 
totally equal. It does not matter. Get whatever, do whatever. They smell pretty much the same. It's a fresh, spicy perfume. I absolutely love it. It has a cold vibe to it, but it is also spicy. Uh, I think it is a very uh, arrogant fragrance that is like, keep a step away from me, okay? Don't come too close. And um, overall, a very sexy, okay? Very dominant. And I think that this perfume is really, really underrated as well. Therefore, I would suggest you to check it out. And because it is fresh, you can kind of wear it all year round. But in my opinion, it is ideal for fall. Bottega Veneta Eau de Velours. This is a leathery rose perfume. Okay, you have to go try this one because it's not for everyone. It's very uh, animalic. Like, very animalic. Not just like simple leather it has more depth to it i think that this perfume could be worn by a man no problem whatsoever and uh yes what else do i have to say it lasts a long time it's very like more mature i would say but yeah amazing fragrance this oh my god i love this this that looks like a strange deal though uh kenzo amour eau de parfum so this smells to me like rice cakes. Ah, oh, it smells like rice cakes. I absolutely love it. It's like vanilla rice cake, rice cakes. You know the yogurts with rice? It smells like that. And who doesn't want to smell like rice cakes? I definitely want, and I will wear this a lot. It's just so comforting and so adorable. You know what I mean? All the ones I mentioned until now are more like statement, this is just like for yourself, you know, when you want to like drink a tea or a glass of wine, staying home in your, at home in your, in your pajamas with a bun on top of your head and just smell like cakes, okay? Because we cannot eat cakes. Cakes make us fat and this doesn't. Can you imagine if actually smelling fat, uh, sm uh, smelling sugar would put in your brain that you're eating sugar and would make you fat? Maybe that's why I gained weight. Maybe that would be the explanation. Probably not. Okay, uh, Tom Ford Jasmin Rouge. It is a sunbag jasmine. I think that it is too expensive for the quality because it doesn't last that well. But yeah, whatever, I still absolutely love it. Oh, it's very similar to Lush Last. So if you want the cheaper version, go for Lush Last. It is very good. It's just like, a good jasmine perfume very sexual very sexy love it so the difference in between uh sunbag jasmine and like the fresher jasmine is that this one is not fresh it's more like an oriental note whereas the fresh jasmine is a floral note so it, the two sorts of jasmines put the, themselves in other categories if you know what i mean probably not okay i would recommend you this this is a libre Intense. It's the new one released. Uh, main notes, vanilla, um, vanilla, jasmine, and lavender. Some people say this smells unisex. To me, it smells feminine. I don't understand the unisex thing. I think people say it because of the lavender. I recommend this because it is new. Why not? Go check it out, you know? And uh, yeah, I like it. It's just a little bit deeper than the normal one, but uh, I think that they are both good from all the mainstream perfumes that are released like uh scandal uh, mont uh, carolina herrera uh, this is by far the best one and the best best packaging but it is like it is still mainstream i think it's very likable by a lot of people so i don't think you should worry too much about this yeah then i have this dark temptation from a layered and this is a dupe for lancome oud bouquet that is a uh, oud, rose, a kind of sweet, woody perfume. Um, it is a good dupe. There is also one from Swiss Arabian that is a dupe for uh, Lancome Oud Bouquet. I cannot be bothered to buy a Lancome Oud Bouquet. Some people say that this doesn't resemble it. I totally disagree. If I, if, uh, I wouldn't have found a dupe for Lancome Oud Bouquet, I would have bought Lancome Oud Bouquet. I think that it's just a bit 
I don't know. This is just my opinion. I think that if you do, if you are a perfume brand, stop doing like, how to say, like Guerlain. They have the the normal Guerlain and they have the another line of Guerlain that costs like five times the price. I think that if you do a perfume line, do a perfume line. Like don't, don't start to put categories on it. So it's kind of like that puts categories in between people. Oh, you wear the cheap Guerlain. Oh, I wear the expensive one. I don't know if I make a point here, probably not. But yeah, um, I have done this selection yesterday. I took quite a long time to do it. So I hope you enjoyed the video regardless. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I would absolutely love it if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel and activate the notification bell. And tell me what you think about my front pieces. I literally had that when I was 10 years old, like I swear. Do you think it makes me look more pure? Thank God I have lip injections, otherwise I would literally look like Virgin Mary, Mary right now. Literally, no? Okay, well, I'm sure a lot of people will disagree. But anyway, tell me what is your favorite fall fragrance. Thank you so much for watching. Leave anything in the, in the comments down below. It always helps my channel. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.